Hello and welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday, December the 1st. And uh, today, before we start our evening prayer, I would like to uh, suggest that uh, we pray with a special intention today. Uh, the Supreme Court of the United States is uh, in session as of today, and they have some very important uh, legislation, or not legislation, but very important cases in front of them uh, regarding uh, the right to life uh, for our unborn. So let us today ask that the Holy Spirit fill the hearts of the justices of the Supreme Court so that they, like Jesus in today's gospel story, will be filled with compassion and care for uh, for others. So let us pray our evening prayer with that in mind today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? I longed to look on you, O Lord. Do not turn your face from me. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart is spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm, and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you protect and strengthen those who hope in you. You heard the cry of your son and kept him safe in your tent in the day of evil. Grant that your servants who seek your face in time of trouble may see your goodness in the land of the living. I long to look on you, O Lord, do not turn your face from me. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. 
It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. Stop passing judgment before the time of the Lord's return. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts. And then everyone will receive praise from God. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Let your face shine upon us, and we shall be saved, Lord God of power and might. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. The law will go forth from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The law will go forth from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Let us pray to God the Father, who sent his Son to bring us endless peace. Lord, your kingdom come. Father, most holy, look kindly on your church. Come and visit this vine which your own right hand has planted. Lord, your kingdom come. Be mindful, Lord, of all the sons of Abraham. Fulfill the promises you made to their fathers. Lord, your kingdom come. Merciful God, look kindly upon men and women of every race. May they honor you for your goodness. Lord, your kingdom come. Eternal Shepherd, visit the sheep of your flock and gather them together into one fold. Lord, your kingdom come. Remember those who have gone forth from this world in your peace. Lead them into glory with your Son. Lord, your kingdom come. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord our God, grant that we may be ready to receive Christ when he comes in glory and to share in the banquet of heaven where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.